guys, ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages. My name is Coaster Child, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks. So welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Where today we're going to be looking at Blackpool Central Entertainment Park or Indoor Entertainment Park, as it's now known, uh, because according to a Blue Loop article recently, they have dropped the IP of the Chariots of the Gods. So we're going to look at an article from Blue Loop to explain why they've done this and also share my thoughts on all of this so before we get started guys make sure you like comment subscribe cut that case bell so you never miss youtube video go and check the description down below for social media links and the google forms link where you can submit your own ideas for the channel also guys it's really really important that you do subscribe if you're new around here we're getting closer and closer to 3,000 subs and a million views we're nearly nearly there so please 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 let's get there as soon as possible and for now guys let's have a look at exactly what's going on with blackpool central's new development and the dropping of the ip of chariots of the gods and also why they've done it so this is from Blue Loop's new article. I've linked in the description down below so you can have a read of it for yourself. So last week, Nikal Limited and Media Investment Entertainment submitted a planned application for the first phase of Blackpool Central, which includes a car park with 1,306 spaces and proposals to create a heritage quarter. Blackpool Central's future phase is a compromise and public square for live events, hotels, F&B and three indoor entertainment centres. One of these indoor and theme parks was going to be based on Von Daniken's Chariots of the Gods. However, Place Northwest reports that Blackpool Central has dropped the Chariots of the Gods IP and will no longer be using it for an indoor theme park spread across 126,000 square feet. This comes after market research found the Chariots of the Gods IP doesn't appeal to younger audiences. Nikal Limited Director Richard Fee said the attraction will now be called Blackpool Central Indoor Entertainment Park. Media Investment entertainment owns the rights to chariots of the gods which will still be used to the theme park's attractions rides and content the decision to drop the ip does not impact media invest invests involvement in the project and blackpool central's planning application was submitted after a public consultation with the local community with 90 percent expressing support for the 300 million pound destination located at the former blackpool central train station the project is expected to attract around six additional six 600,000 yearly guests and boost annual spend in the town by 75 million quid. Blackpool Council will make a decision on the application later this year. So we do have two statements on this. Uh, we have Richard Fee's statement. We also have a guy called Nobert Richard's statement as well. So Richard Fee's statement uh, says, This is a watershed moment for Blackpool Central. The overwhelmingly positive response to our consultation shows the level of excitement and enthusiasm around the scheme. While Nobert Richard speaks about that we've taken a major step towards creating one of the UK's most exciting destinations with this application submission. The consultation has given us lots of food for thought and how we shape the future phases of Blackpool Central and maximise its pulling power. So that's all the information, the reasons why and the statements around the Blackpool Central's latest development. Now I'm going to share my thoughts on the fact that Chariots of the Gods will not be involved in the name of the park but just involved in the attractions itself. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. That is speaking about the latest development on the Blackpool Central Entertainment Complex and the fact that Chariots of the Gods will not be involved in the whole name of the project and the overall story of the uh, attraction, but will still be involved in theme park attractions and rides, uh, but not the overall story of the experience. So obviously the reason why is because they think younger ages wouldn't have you know, known about this IP, wouldn't have been familiar with this IP, and it's all about bringing those all ages audience to the brand new complex and I feel like it's a bold move yes it looked like a really good co uh, idea IP uh, for the overall story of the experience of the overall complex however I feel like just sticking it to some of the rides and attractions is probably best off uh, just to gradually get ages of all interest in the concept and the overall you know intellectual property of Chariots of the Gods so I think it's a bold move by them to do this and I think they've taken on the market research and the guest research incredibly well uh, to make this move uh, but Blackpool Central 
Central Indoor Entertainment Park. Now, obviously, it's a massive name, uh, but I think it'll just be called Blackpool Central Park or Blackpool Central Entertainment. Something small like that. People will just abbreviate the name to something smaller than that. But I feel like this is a wonderful move for the, for the town of Blackpool, for the area of Blackpool. Of course, when this opens to the public, I'll be bringing you, fingers crossed, an opening day vlog uh, from the opening of the Blackpool Central development. Fingers crossed that'll all go ahead as planned. Uh, without any COVID in the world, fingers crossed. Let's keep our fingers crossed. And um, it should be interesting to see what's going to happen with this. So I'm really excited to see what kind of rise and attractions are going to be in this complex. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll hear more details about specific rise and attractions, you know, when we get the decision by Blackpool Central and the council to, you know, go ahead with this and give the final giveaway so constru construction can begin uh, on the project. But fingers crossed, we'll get some wonderful attractions in this brand new entertainment complex, this brand new indoor park. And, um, you know, it's going to be a wonderful development to see happen. It's going to be a wonderful uh, investment for the town of Blackpool. I mean, obviously, it's going to have some wonderful attractions. The UK is flying theatre. Um, obviously, it's not the first one because, of course, you've got Flight of the Skyline that opened in, in the Lego Mythica area of Legoland Windsor. Um, you've also got a roller coaster, which we saw in the concept art, and a few other attractions here and there. So it's going to be exciting. But comment down below what your thoughts are to this. Do you agree with the move? Do you think Chariots of the Gods should just be the theme of Rise of Attractions? Or do you think they should have kept the theme uh, from the whole experience and not drop it from the entire experience? So uh, comment down below your thoughts on this. But for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Blackpool-tastic day. Viva la Blackpool.